Can I install conductors rated for 1000 volts or less alongside conductors rated above 1000 volts in the same cable tray? What are the code rules regarding the placement of single conductors in cable trays? Hello everyone. In this video, we will address some of these questions. Our topic is cable and conductor installation as outlined in section 392.20 of the National Electrical Code. So, without further ado, let's dive into our discussion. 392.20 Cable and Conductor Installation Paragraph A Multiconductor cables operating at 1000 volts or less Multiconductor cables rated at 1000 volts or less are allowed to be installed within the same cable tray. This provision allows for the installation of multiconductor cables rated at 1000 volts or less within the same cable tray. For example, many industrial facilities utilize various voltage levels, including 480 volts, 208 volts, and 120 volts, each designed for specific applications. In these environments, production equipment generally operates at 480 volts, while the base building may require 120 volts and 208 volts for general use. Therefore, it would be unnecessary to mandate separation in the cable tray between 480 volt multi-conductors solely based on one set having insulation rated at 600 volts and the other at 1000 volts. Section 392.20 B. Cables operating at over 1000 volts Cables rated above 1000 volts, as well as those rated at 1000 volts or less, installed in the same cable tray must meet one of the following conditions. 1. The cables operating above 1000 volts are of type MC if the cables operating above 1000 volts are of type MC. They can be installed without requiring a separation barrier. Type MC cables possess unique construction and shielding properties. Construction and insulation. Type MC cables are constructed with a robust metal sheath that provides excellent physical protection and electrical insulation. This design minimizes the risk of electrical interference and ensures that the cable can safely handle higher voltage levels. Electromagnetic Shielding The metal cladding in Type MC cables offers effective electromagnetic shielding. This shielding helps to contain any electromagnetic fields generated by the high voltage conductors, reducing the potential for inductive reactance and electrical interference with adjacent cables. 2. The cables operating at over 1000 volts are separated from those rated at 1000 volts or less by a solid, fixed barrier made of a material compatible with the cable tray. If the high voltage cables are not of type MC, they must be separated from cables rated at 1000 volts or less by a solid, fixed barrier made from a material compatible with the cable tray. This barrier is essential for preventing electrical interference and ensuring the safety of the electrical system. Section 392.20 C. Connected in Parallel When single conductor cables for each phase, neutral, or grounded conductor of an alternating current circuit are connected in parallel, as allowed by Section 310.10 G. The installation must consist of groups that contain no more than one conductor per phase, neutral, or grounded conductor. This configuration helps prevent current imbalances among the paralleled conductors due to inductive reactants. Section 392.2, C, addresses the installation requirements for single conductor cables connected in parallel within alternating current circuits. To illustrate this, let's consider an example where 12 conductors are being paralleled for a three-phase, four-wire, 208Y, 120-volt AC circuit. As required by Section 310.10, G, the individual conductors within each phase, grounded conductor, and neutral, which are being paralleled, must be of the same material, possess the same insulation type, be of equal length, be the same size in circular mill area, and be terminated in the same manner. Installing these 12 conductors must consist of groups that contain no more than one conductor per phase, neutral, or grounded conductor. Illustration A shows a violation of this section because the first group contains two phase 1 conductors, while the third group has two neutral conductors, as required by this section groups that contain no more than one conductor per phase, neutral, or grounded conductor as shown in illustration B. This configuration helps prevent current imbalances among the paralleled conductors due to inductive reactants. To learn more above inductive reactants you can watch my video about induced current. Further, in the last sentence of section 392.20, C, states that, Additionally, single conductors should be securely bundled into circuit groups to minimize excessive movement caused by fault current magnetic forces, unless the conductors are cabled together, such as in triplex-ed assemblies. Cable straps or ties, 
heavy-duty cable ties or straps can be used to tightly bundle the conductors into cohesive groups. This provides physical restraint to prevent excessive movement. The key is to select binding methods that securely group the single conductors without damaging the cable insulation or structure. This helps meet the code requirements for preventing excessive conductor movement and maintaining balanced current distribution across the paralleled conductors. Section 392.20, D, Single Conductors. When single conductors sized between 1 aught and 4 aught AWG are installed in ladder or ventilated trough cable trays, all of these conductors must be arranged in a single layer. However, conductors that are bundled together to form each circuit group may be installed in configurations other than a single layer. This section outlines specific installation requirements for single conductors, not connected in parallel, sized between 1 aught and 4 aught AWG when they are placed in ladder or ventilated trough cable trays. All single conductors within the size range of 1 aught to 4 aught AWG must be installed in a single layer when placed in ladder or ventilated trough cable trays. If the conductors are bundled together to form circuit groups, they are allowed to be installed in configurations other than a single layer. Thank you all for watching.